Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have been watching my videos since I started making them about two years ago, then you probably know that the favorite part of my succulent collection are Crusula plants. And uh, it's been a while since I have done updates on my Crusula collection, so that's what I wanna do today. And some of them I wanna propagate, so I will most likely be sharing some tips how to take care of them or propagate them as I go through my collection. So let's start. So most of my Crusula collection is under uh, fluorescent lights uh, on the shelves, actually on the bottom shelf. And I'm gonna start just um, pulling each one out so you can see them close up. So guys, the first one I have here is Crusula brevifolia. Um, I will try to find a video and a photo of this one when uh, last year when I almost wanted to toss it because it was so bare on the bottom and had hardly any uh, you know healthy leaves that I ended up chopping the tops off to propagate and this is that those propagations that I got from the same mother plant and then I left uh, the rest of the plant and it started growing new tips and this is all growth uh, this year you know since um, I think January or February So I'm really happy with this plant. It has so many like uh, new branches growing and I love the distressed colors because it's really close to the fluorescent lights because it's the, one of the tall, tallest uh, pots on the shelf. So looking really good. So I'm really glad it recovered. And as I said, these are some of the propagations. So when you propagate this one, you just kind of mm, cut uh, below the pair of the leaves and then you place it in the soil to root you can have two or three pairs of leaves but it's not recommended having like really long branches because if they're woody branches they will be uh, very have difficulty rooting compared to those you know um, lighter green um, or lighter brown um, stems and this is also one of the propagation uh, pots and this one as you can see is a little bit taller than the other one actually uh, this one was elevated on the shelf to be closer to the light so I think I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I think it was a little bit neglected so uh, really fun Crusula all right next I have here Crusula baby surprise which is a type of a hybrid Crusula hybrid and it's a really fun uh, Crusula with the clusters of round stacked up leaves that can get distressed color when they're closer to the light. Um, I have in the past had this one from Ted's Greenhouses and it just started getting you know bare stems and dried up leaves on the bottom so this is a different one that I got a few months ago and it's been growing really really well. I enjoy seeing it and I love how stacked up these leaves are. And this one is a little bit lean so I don't know if I should propagate it maybe and um, fill out the some of the empty areas in the pot that's possibility then here I have Crusula moon glow look at these beautiful oranges reddish colors that it got under uh, my fluorescent lights I have never had it with these colors it's really cool really pretty so these are the ones um, that I think I uh, beheaded last year uh, so they grew quite a bit as you can see in height and then there were leaves that I propagated those were all oh, they're related <laughs> you know these were heads and these were the leaves that were underneath those heads and they took forever to grow but they I can definitely tell you that they I can see that they're bigger some of them had leaves dried up like this one here on one side so they really need to be watered regularly and they have a little bit more you know uh, pairs of leaves than they did last year but it was quite slow growth and they also got some distressed colors but as you can see they're a little bit bigger than they were when I, when I started this year propagation they're not quite like they're you know siblings here however I'm gonna call them <laughs> relatives 
but they're getting there so really exciting it's famous buddha temple guys <laughs> i actually lost so many of these if you watch my past videos then you know that this is my attempt i think number six well this one i don't even know how many months ago i bought and it was about this size so this is all new growth all this a uh, very compact growth that has a little bit of reddish color is since i got it and it's really close to the lights and uh, it's been doing pretty good actually knock on the wood right not something not to happen to it because we have really bad luck with buddha temple but in the same time when i ordered this one these came up and they were like a uh, pretty good price so i ended up getting these two and uh, i think that they're doing okay as well these two were a little bit had almost having no roots so it took a while for them to firm up but i think that they uh, actually are firm I think that they're a little bit dehydrated from the leaves maybe they needed a little bit more water and they do have a tiny little baby pup uh, growing so I'm excited uh, I hope they're gonna stay with me and survive the winter <laughs> so here is two really fussy succulents um, I would join to these two uh, Crisula Colmella that I lost uh, but this is Crisula Barkley and Crisula Merchandi. I got both of these from uh, So Be Sucks uh, site and she also has an Instagram and um, they actually, on my surprise, they're still alive. I've been having them for about half a year. This one grew quite a bit. Uh, it was super tiny when I got it. So it has some new branches growing and got some distressed colors. As you can see, um, this one has, I think it's a super slow grower, but I do see that it's trying to grow some new branches over here. I uh, also did have some dried up leaves on the bottom, so cross fingers, it's going to survive. So here is my Crisula uh, Tom's Thumb. This one here and the variegated Tom Stump. So as you can see, they're quite similar shape size just the color is a little bit different uh, in the variegated one um i mean uh, they lost some uh, leaves on the bottom but overall I, they also grew uh, and got some pretty colors so i think that they're doing okay as you can see here this one as well they're cute little um, mini stacked up chrysalis so they're very attractive looking uh, there is, a, you know, some areas here that are bare, so I don't know if I should propagate these and, you know, and stuck them here in the soil. Not sure about what to do yet about that, so that's something I'm considering. So here I have a Crisula Ivory Towers, which is like a giant string of buttons. Um, I don't know if you watched, again, if you watch my uh, past videos, you know that I have propagated this one. I think it had only three branches, so I ended up cutting it. And um, this is actually growth from the beheaded branch, but it lost the bottom leaf. So I don't know if I should, you know, propagate this so it doesn't have these bare branches at the bottom. This is one of the leaves that grew double head. Um, I have to check if this white here underneath is mealy bugs hopefully not and then you can see there is some other heads i love the colors on this one and how big they are really pretty and then behind it is a beautiful beautiful chrysula springtime um this is not uh mealy bugs it's just a, i think perlite uh, and it's preparing to bloom all over. You can see how gorgeous these little blooms are, guys. It's just so pretty. And uh, this is the first one that I have that doesn't have much of a brown. It's a pretty healthy one. I've been struggling finding or buying one that doesn't have a lot of fungus. So I hope this one will do good under my lights. So... So here next I have a Crisula Jade's necklace and Crisula Baby's necklace and you can see how a little bit different they are um, in the color and the shape. Um, this one has struggled this beginning of this year and then it started um, doing really well since I left it inside under lights. So this one did never went outside and all the new growth this year 
you know, early spring or uh, late uh, beginning of the fall, uh, it was all very stacked up. You can see how it was stretched in the past and then all of the new growth. It's branching and has really pretty distressed colors. I'm very happy with it. And then the, here is my Chrysula Babies necklace. Again, really pretty stacked up formation. Super interesting. It's like a really fat worms. Uh, it's like a really, really cool plant. These guys here have been struggling. Uh, this, these are the cuttings that I brought from Serbia. I think it's called uh, Crossula platyphylla. It was attacked by a mealybugs and I sprayed a few times, as you can see, and it continued growing and it has compact look, even a little bit of distressed color. So I'm not really worried. I think it's going to recover. Uh, I don't see the mealybugs anymore. Uh, so I think it's going to be okay. Uh, this one here, again, attacked by mealybugs. I didn't notice it, so it started having some brown leaves, but also has some new healthy growth. And this is, uh, I think, called Crisula oblulata. So hopefully that one will be okay as well. It has some beautiful blooms when it blooms. Uh, this one here was super attacked by mealybugs, overrun by mealybugs. So I... Uh, lost a lot of leaves I as you can see you touch it and it falls off uh, it I sprayed it many times and probably out of these four this one is in the best recovery but I am still hopeful about these other ones that they will make it so I am just leaving them as they are they're a little bit separated maybe um, uh, on the shelf so that they're not too close to the other ones in the case they still have presence of some mealybugs but hopefully not so not looking great but look at those beautiful colors pink and variegation I mean like really pretty so here I have some of my uh, Crisula string of buttons um, uh, and uh, I have video about how to take care of uh, Crisula string of buttons so I may uh, put it in the description in the case you want to see that video um, I haven't checked for mealybugs for a while. I think this one has a few spots. But these are the babies um, that I took beginning of the year before I took my big plant to the conservatory. And that plant ended up freezing when they had that terrible uh, dysfunctional um, problems with the heating. So um, anyway, this is what's left from it. And uh, they have been growing. I think that they're doing pretty good. I'm going to just quickly... Spray this area that I saw some mini bugs. Okay, and then uh, these guys were bought as variegated string of buttons, and they had variegation, but then it disappeared. Like really weird. So I don't know, and they're super close to the light, so maybe some of these lose variegation sometimes. I don't know. But this one is pretty. I like how it looks like. It's just not variegated anymore. This one is not variegated either. It does have a very pretty, pretty distressed colors, but not variegated. So, so those are the string of buttons. So here I have Crisula conjuncta that I propagated by cutting off, beheading the old three tops and all three tops as you can see produce double heads here here and all three heads rooted and they have beautiful distressed colors really happy with this one keeping it in a small pot this is my uh, Crisula deceptor that I brought from Serbia I bought it from Stevan Avramov uh, at the succulent market in Belgrade and um, actually it grew quite a bit so it is alive it just got smaller on top, so I don't know if it needed more light and water. I don't know, but I'm still happy that it's alive and it doesn't have brown spots, so that's good. Uh, this one was um, pulled by a mouse um, out of the ground, and these were like two cuttings that I brought from Serbia. It's a Crisula elegance, so if everything fails, I'll just bring two tiny little cuttings next time when I'm when I come back but they don't look very good like I don't know if they're gonna make it or not and here I have one of my favorite this Crisula is doing amazing it has grown so much this year look at these branches and they're like really like compact and they have some pretty reddish edging on the leaves um, like really really big 
a big plant. I think it would look really nice in a hanging basket if we had a lot of light. But since we don't, here in Michigan I just keep it under lights. There is some stretched ones that were not covered by the fluorescent light because they were growing too much aside of it, aside from the light. So I actually wanted to propagate more from this plant because it is so big. I uh, took cuttings um, months ago from this plant and they rooted and they're beautiful. Here is one of the pots that I propagated. So I might have some of these for sale uh, beginning with spring. So it's really easy to propagate. Pretty much look at the you know areas where you feel like it's uneven or you have excess branches or where they have stretched like this one here has stretched a little bit and then you can cut the a little top off with a, at least you know three pairs of uh, leaves um, and uh, you can directly put it in the rooting hormone and then place it in a pot. So I'm going to just be taking some of the cuttings here um, uh, wherever you know they stretched a little bit and what's really cute is that they always double branch wherever you cut so you will get like the, the pot gets fuller and fuller when you propagate and you also can share or sell some of your plants and then I have some really cool ones so I don't know if I should cut these and maybe you have um, have them grow and then there is a few here that got a little bit too dry I don't know why so here is this one I think it got pulled out of the ground so it wasn't getting enough water so I'm gonna pull this whole thing that looks really dehydrated and um, put it in a new pot all right now this one is really tall so I don't know what to do with that one I mean it's pretty it's nice to see it hanging I just don't know if I should cut it or not so there I have some cuttings that I can put in a place in a new pot another one that propagating is this beautiful uh, Corsula green pagoda now if you I can post below a link uh, to video unboxing video where I got this one and you can see how much it grew since they were like uh, kind of stretched and dehydrated and you can see that's a bit of stretching on the bottom leaves but all the new growth under lights is very very compact and it got some beautiful distressed color it also started branching a lot you know it started getting these double branches on, on tops like here there is a um, double branch or just underneath some of these have um, new branches growing so I've been thinking maybe uh, since it does have a little bit bare branches on the bottom maybe to propagate some of these tops and um, see this is not a mealy bug no just a perlite um, and maybe uh, cut some of these but it also looks so beautiful that I don't feel like cutting it so I'm kind of conflicted about what to do with this one but really pretty plant now all of the crassulas that I showed you so far were inside and I think this is the reason why they did so well I've been watering them uh, once a week and I used rainwater that I would collect outside and then I would even, uh, you know, those little pots like this one, I would dunk it, dunk it in the rainwater up to here and then slowly water up here. So I wouldn't, uh, you know, water on top leaves, but I would make sure that the soil is soaked well. The mix that I'm using is um, one third of cocoa brick which is very airy uh, type of soil then uh, organic cactus soil mixed mix, and then one third of perlite so that's what all my chrysoulas have and these guys here that are like tree like shaped chrysoulas mostly chrysoula ovatas they were all outside this year and i don't think they liked it because a lot of them got uh, fungus it's been wet uh, especially in the summer as you can see, there's still some areas, uh, you know, that don't look great. But there is a lot of new growth because this one was um, 
sitting close to LED lights and I think it likes it there so I love the shape of this one it's like a little bonsai tree this one as well those are two different ones um, I forgot I think one is Gollum one is Hobbit <laughs> depending on how the the shape of the leaves are and then I have a few Cursula Ovatas here as you can see close up this one did have some black spots I just saw a millie bug. Okay. And that's, so that's what you do as soon as you see them. Spray them with alcohol. This is a 70% alcohol from grocery store. So they, I love the shape of this one again. So I hope it's going to do well. This one is kept under fluorescent lights. And then I have uh, some smaller ones like this one. This was a cutting that I rooted. And uh, I hope it's going to survive. Um, and then I have another one here. It was also a cutting that I rooted. Uh, so, and then there was that one that I bought the end of summer from a small conservatory in at Andrews Berry Springs. And that one is doing really well. It's here in between, you know, the Echeverius and ghost plants under LED lights. So it does get some light. Uh, oh yeah, and I wanted to show you this one. Let me move it over there. This one here, guys, has deformed the most uh, since it was outside uh, this whole summer. Um, <coughs> I can find a picture of where it had a, a cute, compact look. Uh, um, and it just grew a lot, stretched a lot, and also was attacked by mealybugs. Then it didn't like... Uh, how wet it was outside and I think I still see some I think it's due for another spring uh, so I'm just going to give it a good spray um, so I am really um, not sure what to do here um, should I just chop some of these branches and have it grow a more you know compact look or to try to see if it's going to uh, kind of get filled on its own because they sometimes do that um, as they grow bigger so I don't know I don't like how it looks right now and I think for sure I want to cut off this branch here that is really kind of crooked so I'm gonna just chop it right here as you can see I chopped it uh, right there so um, I'm assuming some new growth is gonna show up and this can be propagated. I mean, I can just cut it anywhere. You can see it started uh, growing roots, so I could cut it just right here, and this piece is gonna root. And then I could also use rest of the plant and just put it in the soil, and middle of the stem will root as well. So I don't know if I should cut a little more. As you can see, it's kind of really all over the place. I also don't like how this is hanging. So I think I might cut that as well. There. And I can propagate that piece as well. So I'm really sad it lost that compact look. Um, so I don't know what you think guys. Should I trim it more? Trim some more like this branch here or just let it be as it is here? Let me know what you think from, from your comments. And uh, I almost forgot about this one. I forgot to show you. Um, this one has been struggling. And I must say, I haven't watered it regularly. It stayed inside. So I don't know if it was a little bit too dried up. It lost a lot of bottom leaves. And it does have a little bit of sign of, uh, I think, edema, which is inconsistent in regular watering, not just overwatering, which I think it really does match what happened because it's not on the same shelf with the rest of the chrysoulas and I think I would just kind of uh, forgot when I watered this one but it does have a lot of life and new growth even out of those dried up leaves so maybe I'm going to be needing to cut some of these and propagate them because I think I can save some of these so I'll keep you updated updated on this one. I don't know what you think guys but I think that they have all done better uh, inside than the previous years when I had them outside so that was my experiment at the beginning of the year 
and I almost forgot there is this one that I didn't show you okay so my variegated jade um, so it's not doing terrible it does have some brown spots but it's definitely growing so I, I need to pay a little more attention to this one because I have not been watering it regularly so um, but yeah I think that they have done better here in Michigan where we get the high humidity and uh, also most of the year it is really cold I think that they do better under lights and what I'm using for them is fluorescent lights not LED lights or at least not for most of them some of the bigger plants are under LED lights thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed update on my succulent uh, chrysula collection uh, if you have any questions or comments you can post below I enjoy reading them I will see you soon in my next video